good morning how are you guys doing it's a beautiful monday morning and today is actually like resumption first day of resumption for the fourth and the final semester so i think so far so good we just have classes like monday tuesdays and wednesdays so i have class today by 12 right 12 p.m today so but this morning i woke up pretty much um early so that i can finish the outfit i'm working on before i get ready to go to school so let me show you guys what the dress or the outfit looks like and different outfits different fabrics are available if you're interested please just let me know and of course i'm gonna um deliver it to you anywhere in the world so quick one this don't judge my scarf okay i tried doing something i didn't know what i was thinking about but i tried trying to tie it in i don't know but i just came up with this and i really love it so that's what we have and of course look at how we were able to arrange the pattern this mannequin does not really do justice to it because the dress is actually very long like it is so long it sweeps the floor you can see where it gets to and this is the final look of the dress you can get your dresses any kind of dresses fabrics are also available the link is going to be in the description box and also on the screen and this is what we have so so far so good that's what i've been able to do this morning um hopefully i'm able to take pictures for them after taking pictures take some videos um iron them properly or iron it properly and then on my way to school or maybe when i'm back from school i can just take it along with me to school then after classes i'll just go ahead and ship it out because it's actually leaving um this country so that is just my update um nothing pretty much to do apart from classes i'm not ready for the class but also i look forward to graduating at the same time i don't know mixed feeling here and there but that's basically what my day looks like so far my room is scattered but ignore the mess at the background okay <clears throat> good morning guys good morning how are you guys doing it's a beautiful thursday morning and how are you guys doing so today agenda for today so my customer asked me to choose between two fabrics and i want you guys to let me know which of the two fabrics do you guys prefer in the comment section so i'm going to know if i made the right choice okay so the first one is this this is the first one it's like purple and then silver this is what the first one looks like and for the second one is yellow and blue yellow and blue I hope okay you can see yellow and blue this is the design so she was like oh i'm stuck up between purple and silver these and these but just pick any one for me so let me know which one do you think um you prefer for me i chose this purple and silver for her so i'm gonna go with this to make a dress this morning so that i can send it to her tomorrow which is on friday so she's gonna receive it like next week but i don't know let me know what you guys think do you think like between this because she was actually stuffed up between like making decisions between the two fabrics and she just said you know what pick any one for me <laughs> and i chose the purple one i hope um i chose the right one actually so i didn't show you guys what i got i actually unboxed it yesterday but i got this so i've been so however i didn't know that it uses like battery like those small mini battery so i need to get the battery and then test it to see if it actually what's the price or if it's actually bright you know because you have been seeing people on tiktok just like talking about this light i just had to get it so hopefully it's something that you know it works but that's pretty much my agenda for today which is thursday i need to get ready i need to start cutting and sewing i'm also expecting like a couple of packages today hopefully it get delivered then we are going to 
unbox it together so let me just say this quick one i know that in the previous vlog or maybe it's gonna be in this section ah, i didn't own my bob imagine and i hope it's been bright enough so far anyway let me just round off quickly so i said it in the previous vlog that or maybe in the previous vlog or the beginning part of this vlog that it's also good to be very accountable and also intentional one thing that business is going to teach you or one thing that running a business abroad is going to teach you is the ability for you to accept refunds and return i know that it might sound like oh why should i return why should i refund but if you really want to be a successful business owner if you really want people to really trust you and patronize you you also have to give room for returns and refunds i know that at times you know as a business owner from a business angle you might feel like oh but you've sold the product already you know you've calculated your profits you've used the funds for something else but the truth about it is that you have to be able to create room for refunds or return however I also know that, that some customers are very sneaky, some customers are very smart in, you know, smart in a different way in the sense that when they get certain product from you, they will eventually use the product, like they've used it, they've used it for an event or something and then they will come back to give refunds or come back to say they want to return it. I also understand that there are some customers like that, however, you just have to put in certain structures like, oh, you can only refund within three days, you know. I know some customers are still smart but then you can't run a business now in this generation without refunds and return because what if intentionally like when the customer gets what they want or when the customer gets the products or the item it's not what they're expecting it to be and that is where description and communication also comes you know comes in place try as much as possible to describe your products like okay it's a yellow it's a green it's small in size the centimeter is you know try as much as possible to describe it in details so that when the customer gets it, it's not like they're expecting something big and then they now eventually see something small. Or maybe you take a picture and that is why like when you're taking a picture of a product, don't over edit it. Because when you over edit it, the color of the purple or the color of the yellow may be different from reality color. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because in this generation, we just have to accept refunds and return to be a successful business owner. And however, there are customers that can be very sneaky you know and some customers can be very sneaky because they want to have your products and then they still want to re request for a refund you also have to be very smart about it at the same time i don't know if i'm ready to like share exactly what happened so i had this customer and then she doesn't stay of course it's like it's an international order and then your order got sent and you delivered they delivered your order and after about a week or so you now came to me to say oh i just received my order i just saw my order and you know i would like to refund return the order and i said okay what is your reason for returning it beside your order your dress has been delivered for over two weeks like so what is your reason for returning she was like oh i don't think i like it anymore i'm like you don't like it what is your reason for not like and she's like oh i want to return it and i said you know what a dress that has been sent for two weeks and then you want to return it you've probably won it for an event because why didn't you return it in two days in three days why wait for about two weeks so what if you've won it how am i going to know so you're going to send me like one dress to an event and then you get your money back and then because i didn't want to go back and forth with that i just thought that you know what you can send it if you want to send it i have a picture of what i sent to you and that is why taking pictures as a business owner is also very important and i said i have a picture of what i sent to you and then i sent her the picture of the dress before i sent it to her and i said you can see it has no stain it has no sweat or anything you can send it back and once i get it i'm gonna smell it i'm gonna check on it if there's any stain of it being washed worn or anything i'm not gonna refund you and i'm not gonna send it back to you so you end up losing the dress and then you end up losing your money so the moment i sent her the picture of the dress before it was sent she didn't talk about the sending of the dress anymore she didn't talk about it prior to when i sent her the picture she was like oh i don't want it anymore i don't like it anymore it doesn't fit my body it doesn't suit me for the event i just want to return it i want my phone back and i'm like hold up it's over a week like it's over a week you probably want it for an event 
how am i sure that you've not like how can you prove it to me that you've not worn it for an event before saying you want to return it back and the moment i sent her the picture of the dress <laughs> dead the conversation she didn't talk about the refund or anything again she just did it i was even the one asking her so when i noticed that she, she wasn't talking about the refund anymore i was even the one asking her i said oh so when are you going to send it are you going to send it today or tomorrow when are you going to send it just let me know so that i can keep track of i can keep track of it and also when you send it please go ahead and send me the tracking number so that i can also track it but i have a picture of what i sent to you and i'm also going to do a proper picture once i receive it she didn't talk about it again she did not talk about it again so if i have not taken the picture of the dress before i sent it she would probably still be standing on you know i want refund of course i'm open to refund and return you know especially when things don't go well or maybe it comes from my own end of course i'm open to that but not to come and outsmart me not to outsmart me like that's that's unnecessary that's pretty much unnecessary and she didn't talk about the refund again it's over like a month you know i just thought about it now and i'm like i even had to keep on messaging her oh are you ready to return it are you ready to send it i need to do proper inspection on it but anyways i know that as a business owner it's sometimes hard to i give out returns and refunds you know especially when it comes from my end or maybe delayed or something i'm very open to it but at the same time you also have to be very smart about it because some people out there we want to wear the clothes for an event get their money back and return a used clothes to you so it just it just depends on how you are able to properly um communicate communicate is also very effective and also how you're able to keep track record of everything that leaves you know so aside so and i think today is going to be a busy day basically just sewing sewing because i need to finish up this dress i'm just starting now i need to finish it up and see if i can say anyways as a business owner let me know how you accept returns and refunds and how it is you know running a business where people have to return and refund and also if you've had like a fair share like a very rude share or something regarding return and refund and also as a customer um from the customer end now let me know like how vendors or entrepreneurs treat you or treat like orders you make that has to do with returns and refunds and also like what make you actually return or ask for a refund of a product i just hope like you guys can be able to communicate in the comment section regarding that so that you can at least help someone who is running a small business or maybe a customer who might end up being a business owner tomorrow so when i was vlogging now i just thought about it that this can actually work on my camera like i think i can actually just clip it on the edge yeah it's gonna be nice too like you know i've clipped it yeah. <laughs> but i think the weight is okay let me put it inside ah okay i think it can also be clipped on the camera also i think it can also be clipped on the camera also since it uses battery which is actually like a good thing so it can be clipped on the camera also and then be used to vlog like this so i think this is how i'm basically going to use mine i need to figure out the size of the battery maybe when i get to the mall yeah i think it's actually nice it's gonna be nice because i don't know how bright it is like i said but if it's very bright clipped on the camera this way it's gonna be good because currently i didn't switch out the bulb but i hope it's bright my window blind is opened fully opened so i'm just using like the light from the window and also because the color of the bulb in my room is actually yellow let me switch it on and let's see if the effect is so much so ah, i think there's an effect is there it's on like this the two bulbs are on off on i don't know but let me just leave it on anyways let me know like business owner what you think about refunds as a customer what you think about refund so that's basically what i have to do today we don't have any class today thursdays and fridays there's no class we just have class monday tuesday wednesday so i literally have today which is thursday to myself so guys i was sewing and then i discovered that i don't have 
um wording like used to pad the bust so that you know you can wear your top without having to put on a bra so i ran out of it so i'm dressed to quickly go to a fabric store around where i can get it because it just helps you know it helps to pack up the upper side of a lady so you really don't need to put on bra and you're gonna feel fame so i got this package they delivered this package uh, when i went downstairs so let's just unbox it and let's see what i have here yeah, i got so early this year i changed like my i think here yeah, the light is too bright but early this year i changed like my undies like my you know for the ladies but um i couldn't get like pants not like i couldn't get like pants i saw pants but i i react to net pants so i got this set i don't know but i think the quality is okay i think the quality ah i think the quality is okay honestly i wasn't expecting it this way because for me i react to net pants or net underwear generally so i just said let me try something like this bovaro i love the quality i think i got about seven of them in different colors i love 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 the quality and let me know as a lady how often do you change your underwear you know how often do you change them do you change them like every three months every six months one year or do you change them when it has torn like you know when it has torn like Ton, ton, ton. but if you're in that category please change it's not healthy you need to change your underwear i think this angle is better right i don't know but let me just switch on the light i think this angle is better so if you're in that category please change you need to change your on this you know so this year i just changed like the upper set but i couldn't you know get on this like pants that is what i have i also got this um i think it's for the skin just like i don't know i think it's used for the face i've seen a couple of videos just to, like wash your face and i think it's okay so this is what this looks like so this is what it looks like and i got this i love the fact that it even came in this bag so i can reuse them for something else basically ah not bad not bad at all this is my first time getting shoes before i shop from them but when it comes to shoes this is my first time and it's not bad it's not bad at all i love 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 this i love how it looks i just hope that this fabric or the material here is not something that easily tears i don't know about that but this is what it looks like and i'm still going to test it to know if i got it in the exact size this came in a box and funny enough this that came in a box is like the cheapest and the fact that they had to even put it in a box it shows that sometimes some cheap products might actually be you know more packed than some expensive products i don't even get what i'm trying to say because among these shoes this is the cheapest and the fact that it even came in a box compared to the other ones i'm really impressed about it so i just needed something casual that i can wear on a casual day because i don't know i'm just tired of the set of shoes that i have so and this is the design that made me to get it and this is what it looks like i'll definitely test it i love the packaging then i also got this so just like three pairs of shoes oh i think it, it looks i don't know it looks finer in the picture but not so bad i just hope it size me so one thing why i got this shoe is that i don't know if the if the light is much but it has like this for you know it has like this for design on it <laughs> it has like this for design it has like this for design in it so and this is what it looks like and i got them in size 40 so quick one let me just test them and see if it fits me
on guys I've picked up I don't know like if it's bright enough but anyways I've picked up the wording just like make sure that my clients nini nini is properly fitted so that's the only thing I need to buy there was a day I was passing here I, I on tram of course and then I was passing and I saw somewhere like an open market I don't know I don't know so I'm just like let me see if I can get there I know when I passed on tram it wasn't far from here so I'm just like let me just see if I can take a walk briefly and find out what they have in that place and if otherwise I need to also get back home as soon as possible so that I can get back to so I didn't come along with the light which I was supposed to so that I can check for the size of the battery but I think I'll do that some other time so let's just go and check out if that is an open market and if otherwise quick quick back I know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away but I've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away from the open market and I used to think that when they say open market it simply means that it's supposed to be very cheap but however I don't think it is cheap to me I don't think those things are like cheap like open market the way I thought it's supposed to be but then maybe because I didn't have an idea like I didn't have anything in mind in particular that I want to buy maybe that's the reason because i didn't end up buying anything i only went there to just like sightsee but going and seeing the prices they don't look like open market to me i think it's supposed to be extremely cheap or maybe it's just me that I think it's supposed to be cheap and it's not i don't know but i couldn't buy anything because the prices of food like um tomato like food items were not cheap like I couldn't buy because it's not cheap it's not cheaper than the one in the store so why should I buy it however I don't know if it's organic or maybe there's a reason why it is like that like maybe there's a reason why it is expensive or something I don't know personally so anyways I need to head back to the dorm I didn't spend a lot of time because I don't have anything to buy and also like I need to get back to work so that's literally like what it looks like and I need to get back to start sewing so guys I just went into the mall quickly to get something that I can easily snack on 
why I cook so I just got like biscuits and yogurt which I'm just gonna take like because the time is like this is 1.30 and I've not eaten this morning and I've done a lot so I can just eat that while I cook rice I have stew so I can just cook rice but while it's getting ready you know when you are hungry that you already know that before the food gets ready you need to quickly snack on something as soon as you get home that's it that's what I just ready to get so heading back now to the hostel to continue and just like get something to eat on the long run so yeah